Hey everyone, welcome back to Boston Auto Blog. Today's gonna be a very special video, or should I say, potentially a special video. Right now I'm on my way to the convention center for the Boston Auto Show, and while it's not open to the public, it is open to the press. I am on the list for the press, for the press passes, however, I'm not a guaranteed lock because I'm not considered working press. So this could go really, really good, or really bad. I'm meeting up with Arsha Cars, and we've already discussed this, that we're getting in no matter what. So we'll see what happens. We should be fine considering the fact that we are on the list and it is a smaller show compared to New York and Detroit. So I'm not too concerned, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous. Traffic on the Mass Pike. It's still moving though. So I should be at the convention center in about, I'm gonna say 15 minutes. All right guys, so we are at the Boston Auto Show for press day. All right, I'm having some major sound issues whenever I point the camera in this direction, so cue the music. All right, so we're gonna get a very exclusive look at the new GT2 RS. All right, so I am now inside the GT2 RS. This is an amazing car. This is just really, really nice. I'm gonna have a better video up for you guys of the interior of this car. I'm having a hard time getting really a lot of focus. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the lighting here is a lot different. And usually when I do walk around videos, I don't have about uh, like a five to 10 minute uh, time frame that I can get this video in. So um, the other video will be up on the Facebook page. And really though, this car is just amazing. Take a look at these front air intakes. They're so, they're so large. You've got your carbon fiber uh, hood. This is probably the distinct feature between the GT3 and the GT2 RS. You've got carbon fiber everywhere. It's massive carbon fiber wing. Just a really, really great spec on this car. So the elusive Audi RS3, the one that I tried reviewing last year in 2017, but um, unfortunately I could never find 
the one I wanted, which has the uh, like the top speed limiter of like 170, 180. Um, but I like this color. Unfortunately, it looks like it's red on camera, but it's actually orange. It's got the black optic wheel package. Uh, looks really, really nice. Um, definitely going to be a car on my list to go much more in depth on this year. All right, so I am walking around aimlessly. Check out this Audi RS7. Oh, man, I love the color on this. This matte gray. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of matte, but on the Audi RS7, this looks really, really good. Get your carbon fiber side mirror covers. And that black mesh grill. This car just looks so really good. I may have said this before in other videos, but I feel as though the Audi R7 is the ultimate car for the car enthusiast with the family. It's got all the horsepower you want. It looks really good. Um, and it just, it's really one of those cars that even if you don't have a family, definitely the four door vehicle that you want to have and own. As I said, I am walking around aimlessly. Haven't had a lot of time to check out the Lincoln Continental. Again, not a car in my segment and definitely not a car that I would personally buy at my age, but I have seen these on the road before and I think they actually look good. I think Lincoln really uh, were, did really well with this car. It looks so much more younger than the previous generation and I just think that they really hit a home run with this car. Check out the new Aston Martin Vantage. It looks a lot better in person than uh, it did in pictures. I think this car looks really, really good. And then that, that rear it looks so good. It really does. Pictures just do not do this car justice. I think it looks a lot better in person. And uh, yeah, really impressed. This is the all-new 2018 Buick Regal Torex. Very interesting that they went with a station wagon design, especially in the age of crossovers. Personally, I think it looks really, really good. Um, comes with 250 horsepower. Uh, the model that we're looking at right now is priced around $40,000. Uh, it was co-designed with Opel. Uh, this would be a Vauxhall Insignia or Opel Insignia over in Europe. From the front, you can definitely tell that it has a more European design to it. It kind of reminds me of the Audi A4 All-Road, uh, especially just from the front. This is one of the cars I want to review for 2018, so this is just going to be a very quick uh, walk around. As you can see, you have tons and tons of space in here. One of the reasons why I think station wagons, even though in America uh, people don't buy, I still think that they're very practical. And if you want to look different than buying a crossover, this is definitely a better alternative. The Torx does come with an automatic lift gate. So uh, that's really good, especially on a car for a Buick. Um, like I said, I want to do a more in-depth look at this car uh, later on in the year. I know a couple of Buick dealerships actually have these on stock. So um, I just really want to see um, what this car really is like. I'm heading over to the Toyota now. The new Toyota XSE is on display and you can sit in it. I really want to check out this car. Another car I want to review later this year. Um, comes with a V6, 302 horsepower. So let's go check it out. All right, here is the new Toyota Camry. Much more aggressive this year. I like the appearance. I definitely, definitely like this car. Um, surprisingly, because, you know, we all know that Toyotas are not really car enthusiast uh, centric, but this car definitely, definitely looks good, and I'm very impressed. Taking a very quick look inside, what I find really amazing about this car is that how much arm room you have, actually. The Camry isn't like a full-size sedan, but you get a lot of room when you get behind the wheel of this car. So before I move on, I just want to say, very bold styling move to have a two-toned exterior with the black top. Um, I think it looks great. Uh, definitely would like to see more of that styling uh, from Toyota in the future. 
Let's take a quick look at the Honda Civic Type R. Have to admit, it does look good. I like the color. My only issue is that it's front-wheel drive and that there's a lot of fake carbon fiber. If, you, if we got rid of the carbon fiber, the fake carbon fiber, and you added all-wheel drive, this car right here could actually, I would actually consider getting over a Ford Focus RS. Once again, I'm not going to do a full uh, review here, and I'm not going too in-depth. I'll do that later on, uh, why do all my walk-arounds and reviews in one day. But like I said, though, the carbon fiber, the front lip, it just, I don't get it. I'm not understanding why you would put fake carbon fiber. Uh, the rest of the car looks really, really good. I like the, um, the front mesh grills. It just looks really, really good, especially where that's what's really in right now. But uh, overall, I think this car is fun, uh, definitely fun to drive, but... If we could just get all-wheel drive on this car, my goodness, this car would be um, definitely uh, more popular, at least in my opinion. I will admit these, these seats are extremely comfortable, a little bit more comfortable than the Recaro seats in the Ford Focus RS. Um, but really, it is a fun car to drive. I understand it, but I just want the fake carbon fiber gone from the, I want the fake carbon fiber trim gone. That's for sure. Let's do a quick walk around of the Volvo XC60. This is a car that I do want to do a full-on review of later this year. I like it. I, I think the update looks a lot better. It goes right along with the XC90. And I just think it looks a lot more younger and unique. So for the XC60, you're also going to get an upgraded interior. Uh, this looks much better. Uh, the user interface is uh, as a touchscreen. And I think that this looks a lot better, much like the XC90. So overall, I think this is a really, really nice SUV. Get an automatic liftgate. And some very decent storage. Overall, I'm a big fan of the new XC60. I love it. Looks great. Looks like a smaller XC90, and I think this is going to do really well uh, from the consumer market. So, taking a look at the V90 Cross Country, uh, I think that slowly but surely station wagons are becoming a thing. Now, if you notice, this is elevated because of the Cross Country. I think that moving forward, station wagons will become popular again in America, but I think it's going to come in the form of like a crossover or something that's more versatile. Uh, the American consumer uh, takes a look at the crossover and thinks, yes, I can go through winter in this, it's higher up. And I think that's exactly what um, car brands are doing with station wagons as well. Now, Volvo has always done cross countries or uh, you know, at least something more of higher level for station wagons. And I think that just like when we saw the Buick Regal Torex, that that's higher up as well. So the Audi A4 all road, this is the way things will go, at least for the station wagon. And later this year, what I wanna do is, I wanna do a video on station wagons and show how slowly but surely the automotive segment is changing um, in the United States. Uh, station wagons, I think, hopefully maybe in a year or two, who knows, maybe we get an Audi RS6 Avant you never know. But I think this is slowly but surely the beginning of station wagons creeping back into America. All right, guys. So before I forget, um, I am vlogging. I said I wasn't going to do this for the main channel. But seeing as though this is more professional, and I'm pr pretty sure you've probably seen by the tone that I'm using, this is much more professional than I would do on a regular vlog. I'm going to have a vlog up for Saturday when I come back to the auto show. We're going to have some great fun. I'm going to have my friends with me. So that will be on my vlog channel. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below and you can subscribe there and I'll have all the vlogs uh, from this year and every car event uh, moving forward for 2018. I can't have walked by this. Uh, what do you guys think of the new Honda Accord? Again, another car with a fastback uh, design to it. Um, I think, I really don't know what to think actually. This is a car I need to spend a lot more time with. Um, from appearance, I think the fastback look does add something to these brands, especially brands that are not considered luxury. I, I don't know. I think that this might actually work.
as you can tell, it's getting later in the day. Uh, the show started to get a little more lively, and uh, yeah, people start showing up pretty soon. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is just the beginning for auto show videos this year. Um, this will be the only video from this particular auto show, unless the vlog counts, but that's going to be on my own personal channel. Um, I have a big surprise coming for the end of March, mostly I'll be posted in April because I'll be traveling and I won't have any access to a laptop or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to have access to cars that are not available yet in the United States. Just like today, we had the GT2 RS, uh, the Porsche 911 Carrera T, that's not available yet in the United States. So um, this show, I'm really interested and actually surprised that Porsche actually brought those cars here for this show. So um, I guess that will make up for the fact that the Koenigsegg isn't here. But again, I'm rambling on, but I'm really looking forward to what's happening in the future, whether it's reviews, whether auto shows, uh, traveling. Um, that's really amazing. I can't believe that I'm actually going to be traveling this year. So really, really excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. There will be a vlog on Saturday uh, from this show, just having some fun. There's going to be some other things as well for that day if the rain uh, holds out. So uh, I'll have the link in the description below for that and uh, into that channel, my own personal channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So I uh, hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.